So let's continue with the client side. Remember that email they received? They're gonna sign in with their user ID. When they click on sign in, it's gonna take them to the accept invitation page from QuickBooks. When they're signing in, they're either going to create a new password or if they forgot, they can always use the forgot password option to get a code and reset their password. Once they're in, they're gonna click on continue. And now they are in their version of QuickBooks Ledger. So let's see what happens on their end. They have their own welcome screen. Welcome, we're glad you're here. They're gonna click on next. What's your main role at the business? They can choose their role or just click on owner and move next. And then they're gonna continue this setup and click on let's go. And now they're in their own version of QuickBooks Ledger. So now what we'll do is we'll explore again what the client has access to here on the navigation toolbar and in the settings based on the client's features versus the QuickBooks Online Accountant's features. So let's take another tour of QuickBooks Ledger from the client side. Here on their dashboard, they have access to get things done and the business overview. They also have access to link their bank accounts. Under transactions, they have access to all of the transaction areas like bank transactions, app transactions, reconciliation, rules, chart of accounts, and recurring transactions. They can click on bank transactions and they can connect their banks. Under expenses, they have access to expenses, vendors, and contractors. Under reports, they have access to a very comprehensive report center. And of course, if you chose additional options like payroll and time, they would have options for that as well. They also have access to connect with their accountant. And if they chose their account and settings, they would be able to see manage users and see themselves as a user and see that you're connected in there as an accountant. Now we'll continue our series with some work inside of QuickBooks Ledger. Bye for now.